What if I told you that the moon, our familiar, glowing, celestial neighbor, isn't as calm and predictable as we've always assumed? For centuries, we looked up at it and saw silence, serenity, the same face staring back. But in recent years, scientists have uncovered a startling fact. The moon is full of oddities, mysteries, anomalies that simply don't fit our simple picture. Today, I'm taking you through 10 real phenomena on the moon that have got researchers scratching their heads and asking, what really is going on up there? Scientists found that the moon experiences quake events, sometimes lasting far longer than typical earthquakes and originating deep beneath the surface. The seismic instruments left by the Apollo 12 mission revealed that some moon quakes originate hundreds of miles beneath the surface and can persist for over 10 minutes. What makes this disturbing is that the moon was thought to be geologically dead for ages, but these quakes tell a different story. Its interior is still cooling and contracting, the crust is still shifting, and these tremors hint at deep internal motion. Some shallow quakes even reach magnitude 5.5 equivalent. For a place we assume is static and frozen in time, the idea that it is still shaking is unsettling. If you were planning a lunar base, you might want to pick your site carefully, because the moon might just give a little jolt when you least expect it. Here's another. The moon is literally getting smaller. Scientists analyzing top of surface imagery and quake data found that the moon's diameter has shrunk by roughly 50 meters over the past several hundred million years. When the interior cools, the outer shell contracts and breaks, forming cliffs called thrust faults tens of meters high. These features still exist today. The dramatic part, what appears to be a calm celestial body, is undergoing structural changes at a planetary scale. I mean, imagine the moon shrinking and cracking while we look up at it, thinking it's unchanged. For future explorers, this matters. What looks like stable ground might be shifting underneath. But for us watchers on Earth, it is a reminder that even the moon is evolving. When you look at the moon, you might assume everything is inert. Think again. Astronomers have documented transient lunar phenomena, or TLPs, flashes, glows, and color changes that appear and vanish on the lunar surface. More than 3,000 such events have been recorded. A flash here, a glow there, an odd reflection at a crater. Hypotheses include tiny meteoroid impacts, gas venting from beneath the surface, even dust disturbed by seismic or thermal activity. But the exact causes remain uncertain. Why is that disturbing? Well, because it suggests the moon isn't as inert and unchanging as we thought. These odd flashes hint at dynamic processes still alive on our familiar satellite. Look closely at certain lunar regions and you'll see bright winding lights called lunar swirls. These patterns don't match typical geology. They're unusually bright, they sit atop old terrain, and they align with localized magnetic anomalies. The moon no longer has a global magnetic field, yet these swirls suggest that rocks beneath the surface got magnetized long ago and are playing tag with solar wind particles now. The real question is how did those rocks become magnetized, and why exactly here? Some models link it to massive ancient impacts, others to volcanic or internal activity. None fully satisfy the mystery. So these swirls are like cosmic graffiti. They mark places where we know something weird happened, but we don't yet know exactly what. Here's one for the chemistry files. Researchers who studied soil samples from the far side of the moon via recent missions found water content far lower than on the near side. One study found less than 1.5 micrograms of water per gram of soil in the South Pole Aitken region, significantly lower than the near side measurements. This asymmetry puzzles scientists. Why is one hemisphere of the moon so much drier? Possible explanations include ancient impacts that redistribute distributed volatiles, uneven heating and cooling of the crust, or different histories of solar wind interaction on each side, but none are definitive yet. The takeaway is that even something as fundamental as water distribution on the moon is still 
full of surprises. On the far side of the moon lies an area called the compton belkovich thorium anomaly, a region rich in thorium, which is a radioactive element, much more than the surrounding terrain. What's weird is the region is a volcanic complex, but it is non-mare, not the usual basaltic lunar seas, and suggests silic volcanism, which is a rarer style. Its thorium concentration stands out strongly compared to standard lunar crust. The existence of such a hot spot raises questions about how and when this volcanism occurred. Some estimates suggest the area might be much younger than typical lunar volcanism, which stopped billions of years ago. It's disturbing in a sense. The moon might have been far more geologically active, at least locally, than our textbooks indicate. What if our assumptions about lunar history are completely wrong? Recent radar studies and older imagery indicate that the moon may hide vast lava tubes. Those are underground tunnels formed by ancient volcanic flows. Researchers announced in 2024 that they found confirmed evidence of a tunnel beneath the surface. These are not small cracks. We're talking conduits tens of meters wide, covered by hardened lava crust with skylight openings visible from orbit. On Earth, we'd consider caves like that remarkable. On the moon, they're astonishing. Why is this disturbing to scientists? Because the interior of the moon may be more hollow, more cavernous than we assumed. If there are large voids underground, what else is happening down there that we haven't seen yet? How stable are those ceilings? What secrets might they hide? And if humans built bases on the moon, these caves might become homes, but only after we fully understand the risks. A recent study discovered strange anomalies in meter-wide rocks and their coating of sun-reflecting particles on the moon. These particles reflect sunlight in odd ways, not matching typical lunar dust behavior. Researchers speculated it may relate to how the lunar crust formed or how the surface evolved under solar and meteoroid bombardment. The unsettling part is that the moon's surface, which many assume to be well understood after decades of mission, still has optical and material properties that we can't fully explain. It's long been known that the moon lacks a global magnetic field, unlike Earth, but now localization and distribution of magnetic anomalies present deeper mysteries. The South Korean Dannery mission found that the far side has more prevalent local magnetic fields than expected. We would expect the near side, which faces Earth and has more basaltic volcanism, to show stronger anomalies. Instead, the far side shows surprising conductivity and magnetic one suggestion is that the far side was hotter or had more water beneath the surface, but water under a magnetism puzzle? I don't know. The moon's magnetic past is complicated, and that complexity challenges standard models of how it formed and how it evolved. This one is a bit more technical, but seriously wild. Researchers studying the moon using cosmic ray impact modeling found that when ultra high energy cosmic rays strike the lunar surface, they generate radio pulses. These pulses can reveal buried ice layers up to nine meters below. What's freaky is that the moon, which we thought of as basically dry and kind of boring, apart from surface ice in shadowed craters, may have hidden ice deposits far deeper, layered beneath several meters of dust. These are not we'll maybe find ice theories. The simulations show detectable signatures. It means the moon has a subterranean dimension of mystery and hidden reservoirs we have yet to tap. And if you're into the darker side of things, those hidden ice pockets may not stay hidden forever. They might shift, vent, or change as future missions disturb them. And what will we find? All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.